All right, now to a shocking video that has led to a lawsuit filed against Indianapolis Public Schools, a teacher and administrators. The parents of a special needs seven year old found out that their second grader was being beaten and bullied at school. The teacher now accused of instigating it. Good evening, I'm Max Lewis in for Bob tonight. Our Angela Gannot broke this story and shows us the video and reaction from that family. That's how you, get him. you are listening to a now former IPS elementary teacher tell a second grader to attack his special needs classmate. Yep. Mess with me. No, mess with me. The teacher, Julius Jonikin, inside George Washington Carver Montessori IPS school last fall. The little boy came home numerous times telling his parents he was beaten at school. Head slammed into desks and at least twice the teacher held him down so the students could attack him. But when the parents reached out to the school, they say they were told numerous times the child was lying. We know this was being used as a disciplinary measure. If you didn't turn in your homework or if something else happened, you were going to get pummeled. Your head was allowed to be slammed to the desk by other children. And so that's what's really reprehensible. The abuse came to light after three months of meetings. The attorneys say at a parent teacher conference, Jonathan went to show them a video of the classroom environment, but by mistake, showed them this video. It was only then that DCS was called and an investigation started after the parents demanded it. They should have been contacted long before that. Which led us to ask, will anyone face charges for not reporting that abuse? Especially considering in their report, DCS stated they substantiated neglect by the teacher due to the preponderance of evidence. The family attorneys say the seven-year-old's disabilities qualified him for a higher level of supervision and safety, but he got anything but that. So what is the family wanting right now? Well, they'd like justice. Yeah. Um, they want this exposed. For now, according to the state's licensing agency, Jonikin's teaching license is valid. He was allowed to resign and has not been charged with any crime. All right, now to some other news. That was our Angel Gannot reporting, by the way.